Hello NBA fans and welcome back to another episode of the NBA The Week That Was. Today I will be making my pick for the Minnesota Timberwolves in the 2020 NBA Draft. I have decided to limit this draft analysis series to the draft lottery, which means I will only make videos about the first picks to the 14th pick in the NBA Draft. I have already made videos about the first and second pick, so please check those out at the conclusion of this video. Let's not waste any more time and get right into the third episode of the draft analysis series on the NBA the week that was. With the third pick in the NBA draft, I believe that the Minnesota Timberwolves should take Anthony Edwards out of the University of Georgia. Edwards is a three-level scoring machine that could be a great fit on any team. He is a volume scorer, which means that he can pour in the points for his team whenever they require. He uses his athletic abilities to blow by defenders, can often make some tough shots around the rim. While he might not be a pure sharpshooter, he definitely has a good looking off the dribble shot that is a necessity for the way he plays. He can definitely be the second option on a playoff team, especially if the number one option is a great playmaker. Edwards does struggle with his passing and can also be inconsistent on both offense and defense, but if coached well, his potential as a scoring engine should overlook the weaknesses in his game. I believe the Minnesota Timberwolves will take him for multiple reasons. Firstly, with D'Angelo Russell and Carl Anthony Towns, the Wolves have a great duo that can carry the load of the offense while Edwards gets adjusted to the NBA game speed. They can take their time to develop him without having the pressure to produce, such as the pressure Andrew Wiggins had. Wiggins was the first pick in the 2014 draft, and he was forced to compromise on his natural game and had to take on a role that was too big for him in Minnesota. With Russell and Towns running the show, Edwards can be a great third option while also being given the opportunity to develop. Also, going back to Wiggins, Edwards has a similar figure and playing style as Wiggins, so the coaching staff would be getting a familiar prospect with whom they won't make the same mistakes they did with Wiggins. Another reason Edwards fits well with the Wolves is the on-court fit. With Russell, he is a great playmaker who can supply him the ball in areas where he can use his athleticism to get easy buckets. In Towns, he has a perennial pick-and-roll partner who can use his big size and three-point shooting and post-scoring ability to draw defenders with screens, leaving Edwards an open lane to drive to the hole and get a high percentage shot up. While Edwards, Russell, and Towns are all inconsistent on defense, they would have the motivation and energy to play better defense once they realize they have the potential to be a great team in the West due to their offensive capabilities. Overall, I believe Anthony Edwards can form a big three in Minnesota and create a formidable team in the West for years to come. And with that, we wrap up the third episode of the Draft Analysis Series here on this podcast. If you have any feedback, please leave it down below. And as always, I'll see you soon on the next episode of the NBA The Week That Was. See ya!